Welcome back to Transcriber from Reddit. Today's topic comes from the subreddit xLutheran, posted by user, which is blacked out here, for his protection. His post is a text post with a title reading, How to Survive Working as a Closeted Gay Teacher at a Wells Lutheran School. The post reads as follows. Just a little bit of details about my background, the type of school at which I work, and my position. I am a male who happens to identify as gay. I work at a Wells Lutheran school. I have worked at this school for over eight months. Since I started working there, I made a vow to myself that I would stay closeted in this workplace in fear of potentially being fired. However, last month I discovered from one of my students that some of my own students, in parentheses, including some of the middle school students, in parentheses, have been spreading rumors about my sexuality since I first started working there. The rumors are mainly about my gender expression, such as I, quote, act gay, end quote, and, quote, look gay, end quote. According to the student who revealed these rumors to me, speculations about my sexual orientation or why some of the students in the classroom do not respect me as a teacher. They have also spread vicious rumors about me, quote, liking little boys, end quote, and were plotting to try to get me fired. I have received little to no support in this situation. I told the lead teacher about the situation and sought her support from her, but she refused and told me to, quote, handle it on my own, end quote, because she feels that the students won't respect me if she addresses the situation for me. The principal told me the same thing. Neither of them seemed to display an ounce of concern for my well-being either. They were very nonchalant about the situation and in a very odd way too. It seems as if their lack of support came from their own discomfort. Before I even found out about these rumors, both the teacher and the principal had a random and unplanned meeting with me to address their concerns about my teaching approach, accusing me of being, quote, too soft, end quote, on the kids, and, quote, too sensitive, end quote. Given these recent events, it makes perfect sense as to why my students have constantly asked me if I have a wife or a girlfriend. I feel very isolated working at the school. I can't just quit because my contract ends in August. If I resign, I'd have to pay the school a certain amount of money just to willingly terminate my contract. As of me reading this post, it has 22 upvotes and 21 comments. All I can say is my heart goes out to OP here. Like I said at the beginning, I blacked out the username for OP for privacy concerns, mostly because I don't know out of the people who watch my channel if anyone hate watches my channel and would seek to find this person out. Given that we're in the month of April right now, I would personally encourage OP to hang in there as best he can until August. Do whatever it is he has to do to keep his sanity as he teaches at the school five days a week until his contract ends. I am personally infuriated that he teaches a class of third graders, and instead of being complimented on how kind and compassionate he is to the students, he's brought in for a meeting because he's considered too kind and compassionate towards his students. I also find it infuriating that it's okay to question this teacher on whether or not he has a girlfriend. 
Whether or not he has a girlfriend, or boyfriend for that matter, does not make it anyone's business other than his. His job is to teach you little entitled brats. I don't doubt that kids on their own are mean enough and malicious enough to spread these rumors, but I do wonder if there are parents also involved, in which case I fear even more for OP's safety at this school. What's even worse for OP is that the supervisor and the principal here both show no concern for his well-being or for backing him up as a show of moral support in front of the students. OP, do the best you can to survive until August. Get some interviews in at other jobs. Do your best to put yourself out there and find a better place. A place where leadership won't fail you and your kind and compassionate method of teaching will actually be appreciated. Thank you for watching. Please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing the video, and I will see you all in the and next one. Thank you. The keys of the kingdom so darkness would never prevail. But some of the shepherds have pastured themselves on their sheep. So he has come out against them and scattered his people of faith. But there still is one faith, one hope.